What is up, people? It's Grim here, and apologies, I will say this now, this is a reality check for me, and uh, back in the day, long ago, we used to have things called Danger Close, we used to have Frag Times 3, and, uh, and I'd like to say that we came out of this era of noob spammage and so on and so forth, and uh, we're more enlightened people now, but uh, sadly we are not, and this is not the case. Um, because going through the footage from uh, the reveal event, and also watching some of the footage that's now been posted up by those lucky boys, such as Fear Crads, T Martin, Tabe, and all those good guys, um, certain things have come to light to me, and uh, yeah, worrying, worrying times. Now, obviously, I haven't fucking played it, so this is just my experience of playing Call of Duty and of the community itself. Now, what what do I mean by this, Grim? You're going on a fucking Debbie Downer, you said you wouldn't do that, and already you're fucking hating. I'm not hating, I'm just seeing potential flaws which uh, will frustrate. And at the end of the day, that's one of the biggest things I'd like to remove from the game, is bullshit and frustration. But, uh, Okay, Grim, this is all good, but why the fuck are you playing with a war machine in combat training like a pussy and just rambling on? Well, the reason being is the Mark 32, or the war machine, is in Call of Duty Ghosts. And it is one of three launchers. Two of them being um, like the Mark 32. So you've got the Mark 32 and then you've got, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's basically a single shot grenade launcher. This is obviously a six round multi-burst grenade launcher thingy and um, the other one is like the Panzer Shreky thing whatever uh, which I see you can use to take out the helo and stuff like that. So this is readily available. Probably the first launcher that's unlocked because in the list it's the first one and uh, yeah so I can put Danger Close on this fucker now, I know what you guys are thinking, Grim, it will all be balanced, and, and you can Scavenger isn't going to matter, because in Modern Warfare 3, they've learned their lesson, and Scavenger couldn't replace explosives. And this is true. But, 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 let's assimilate some perk collections here, and see if it might annoy you. Now, bear in mind, I'm not talking about guys like, you know, fucking x -Cow and those sorts having this. Because, granted, you can't replenish the grenades. Now let's say, let's be overly nice and say it purely has six grenades, unlike 12, which the War Machine has. Let's say it has six grenades, then it runs out, it cannot be replenished by Scavenger. Now, six grenades potentially is six kills. Okay. More if you get multis, but I'm just saying one-on-ones. Now, I know you're now going to say, is, ah, ha, 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 Grim, I see the flaw in your plan, because... We have Flak Jacket, and Flak Jacket is only a two-point perk, so it's all good. Yes, Flak Jacket is only a two-point perk, but you can die through three War Machine rounds with Flak Jacket on in this game. Now, I bet you... No, no, no let, let's be nice. Let's say that the damage is the same as this War Machine. But I'm now bolting on Danger Close to that motherfucker. So you will find in two War Machine rounds, you'll be dead, probably even with Flak Jacket on. That's probably me being polite. It may potentially be one with fucking Danger Close. Which is fucking annoying as shit. Um, and also bear in mind that if Flak Jacket was so good, it would be worth three points. It's not Flak Jacket's worth two, which tells me Danger Close is better. Now, <laughs> right, what I was going to say is... Now I'm going to hear clicking in the background because me clicking my mouse. It's also going to give you guys some... Some classes that no doubt... Yeah. Sorry, let's finish off what I was saying, Grim. Try to stay on track, because you're ranting. I'm not talking about guys with X-Cow like 3KDs. I'm talking about the kids that are going to run around and be fucking annoying as shit. Potentially, let's go with snipers with this on their back. Or with guys that are using this as a primary. Alright? You can get six kills with one of these. They're not going to get six fucking kills. They do not have six KDs. Alright? They will get you. You and only you before they die, okay, in a hail of bullets. But it will annoy the shit out of you when it happens. 
and they'll keep doing it. You'll get thum 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 spam image. Spam image. Spam image is my new word for this. Um, this is what you're gonna get. You're just gonna get spam, 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 spam. Then they die. Then they come back. Spam, 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 spam. But it gets better than this, people. And I'm gonna go why it gets better. And I'm gonna throw some perks into the mix. So I am using. I assume it has no attachments, okay? I'm using my Mark 32 as a primary because I'm a douchebag and I'm going to run around with it. But uh, let's throw some spicy things into the mix and uh, see what comes out. So, I have eight points to spend on my perks. How can I maximize the efficiency of this fucking war machine, Mark 32 Beastie? Well, I've got two builds that I'm going to go with because I'm not quite sure how they're going to work. So let's go. I'll go with the one that if it works, would be pretty the better of two. Right, danger close. It's three points. That's what I'm using, because I want my grenades to fucking blow the shit out of everything. So danger close is my big boy, right? Why not, if I'm using danger close, throw in an extra lethal grenade. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, let's throw in an extra fucking frag or something. So I can toss those bad boys. Big explosion. But if I'm going to toss these fucking nades around, I want to be able to do it from spawn. So I want to throw in strong arm. Now strong arm, supposedly, now these are all rumours, not 100% confirmed on these perks. But strong arm makes you fucking lob grenades miles. So I can now, in my spawn, spawn throw grenades halfway across the fucking map. And these grenades are danger close grenades. Ah, oh, sounds brilliant. Then I'm going to attach onto that, and that's a one point, sorry, extra lethal is two points. Strong arm is one point. Then I'm going to throw in my two-pointer, if this works, granted, I'm going to throw in extra ammo. Now, I'm going to guess, I hope it doesn't, but let's say it gives you another six war machine rounds. So you've now got 12 war machine rounds, you're carrying an extra frag grenade, you've got danger close, and you can lob nades fucking halfway across the map, no problem. Annoying as shit, no doubt. Now remember the class of player we're talking about that are going to be doing this. So let's go for my second build. Okay, Obviously I'm having danger close because only a noob wouldn't run danger close. I'm going to put in again my extra lethal because ooh, that's what I want. You know, I want to be able to throw yet more frag grenades. Really utilise that danger close. Then I'm going to throw in strong arm again because I want to be able to lob these bad boys off across the map. Oh that sounds good. Then, and this is where we get funky, I'm going to throw in Recon, where potentially explosive damage, I'm assuming, will make people appear on my mini-map. So all of a sudden I'm spamming all this shit, and potentially it will show up on everybody's fucking map, that I'm spamming these grenades and people can see everything, and when I throw my super long grenades, they'll show up on the mini-map for the whole team. I am such a team player with this build. Then I'm also going to throw in double down because I want to be able to call in those care packages. I want to keep changing them till I get some really good shit because I've been an annoying ass fucking muncher. So yeah, there you go, guys. I'm oh just potentially worried about this. You know, we've got to see. We don't know until we get hands on it. But uh, oh, also, I am fucking bored to shit already of watching Odin Strike videos. I fucking seriously am. But uh, that's my grump over with. Let's get on with some uh, some fun stuff after this. But, uh, oh, it could be just like Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Have a good one.